Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Predictions Week 3. A lot of games coming up this weekend, all 20 Premier League clubs back in action, so guys you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. But today we're going to do it in reverse order, so we're starting off with Newcastle versus Liverpool. Newcastle lost to Man City, Liverpool beat Bournemouth, that's the end of it. Um, McAllister got a red card that I do think Liverpool are appealing as I'm speaking, so we you know, that pill will probably come out later this week. But as the score goes, I'm going to go for a draw, I think. And I'm going to go for a one score scoreline for that one. Next one is Sheffield United versus Bay City. Sheffield United are still yet to pick up any Premier League points as far as the season goes. Pep Guardiola, I think, is going to miss this week due to having some back surgery, I think it is. But I still don't think that's going to stop City performing up to their ability. So I'm going to go for a comfortable Manchester City win with a 4-0 Manchester City win. The next one is Burnley versus Aston Villa. Burnley didn't play this week because they're due to play Luton at Kellerford Road and their £10 million worth of upgrades still ain't completed. So they had a game, you know, abandoned or boned. I don't know how just did switch it round. But on the other side of that, Villa did have a 4 0 comfortable win against Everton. As far as this game goes, I'm going to go for an Aston Villa win and I'm going to go for a 3 nil Aston Villa win. Next one is Brighton versus West Ham. Brighton obviously my home club. West Ham have never beat Brighton in the Premier League. The last time West Ham beat Brighton was back in the Championship, back up to Park, and I believe it was 6-0 that day to West Ham and funny enough I was there. Uh, but yeah really big result that, that up to Park but West Ham still, went, still have not beaten Brighton in the Premier League as I've said. So I'm going to go for a Brighton win and considering their last two games have been 4-1 to Brighton 4-1 uh, against Luton 4-1 against Bulls so I'm going to go for a 4-1 Brighton win this time round the next one is Man United versus Nottingham Forest. Jesse Lingard's played for both these clubs. As far as the result goes, Man United did lose to Tottenham 2-0 at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and Notch Forest did beat Sheffield United 2-1 at home at the City Ground. I think Notch Forest might just win this one as well actually but do i think united will score actually i'm gonna go for a draw and i'm gonna go for a one all score line for that one next one is everton versus wolves everton lost to villa wolverhampton lost to brighton at molyneux the vlog is now on my channel if you want to go check that out after this video i believe wolves are onto something special they had an offside goal in that game against brighton but I still believe that Wolverhampton are one to something special. So I believe Wolves will actually win this weekend at Griddleton Park. And I'll go for a 2-0 scoreline for that one. They had the same amount of shots as Brighton. Just uh, less two on target, I think. Next one is Brentford versus Crystal Palace. Brentford beating Fulham 3-0 at Craven Cottage. Crystal Palace losing 1-0 to Arsenal due to a penalty and a red card. Now, a lot of you can get in the comments below about that red card, but anyway, I'm just here to predict the scoreline. I'm going to go for a Brentford win, I think, just because of their strength. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Brentford win. Next one is Arsenal versus Aston Villa. Arsenal beating uh, Palace 1-0. Got a harsh, some of you might call it harsh, but I'll agree where the red card came from. And the other one is Fulham, and Fulham lost to Brentford for that home so it's gonna be a very interesting scoreline this one i believe but i believe fulham might just win this one as well and i'm gonna go for a 2-1 fulham win for that one my next one is bournemouth versus spurs bournemouth lost 3-1 to liverpool at anfield tottenham beat man united 2-0 boy what a day that was uh for tottenham tottenham are looking off to something special i did watch their analysis back against united do i believe they can well, the only trouble is with the Vitality Stadium, the pitch is quite small, obviously, because the stadium is quite small anyway. So, I'm going to go for a Tottenham win still, but I'm going to go for a 3-1 Tottenham win. My last one for this weekend is to find a nice football, and this one I've done in reverse order. Chelsea versus Luton. Chelsea loses to West Ham 3-1. Luton not planned because Kenneth was 
I ain't quite ready. Now I suppose play Burnley. Now, viewers of mine do know that I do stick my neck out on the line sometimes. And I do go against the odds, for say. So, you know, I predicted Brentford to beat Arsenal. And Brentford came up from the Championship in that last one, week one. And a lot of it uh, obviously went for the Arsenal win. And the majority of you would. But I went for the Brentford win and Brentford did actually win that game. I'm going to do the same again. I can't believe I'm going to say this. But I am going to predict Luton to win their first game in the Premier League. Only for the matter of fact that when they came down to Brighton they did look threatening and I watched the Chelsea game yesterday against West Ham and they still look like they've got pockets of space all over the place. I believe Luton will attack them. So I'm going to go for a Luton win and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Luton win. But anyway guys let's bring my week 3 Premier League positions to an end. Guys you know what you'd do if you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for that.